not expensive. It's, yeah, it's sublimely simple. It's, it's kind of magical, really. What's up, beautiful people? My name's Brittany, and today I'm going to be sharing about minimalism and saving money because they're awesome topics. I know that they're exciting for me and I get a lot of questions about them. So, what do these two things have to do with each other? Maybe you already know, maybe you've experienced it, or maybe you're wondering. For me, minimalism and saving money have gone hand in hand. And I don't think that my initial goal with becoming more minimalist was to save money, but I think it was a byproduct of it. And I definitely wanted to save money. That was always exciting to me because money meant more freedom. And minimalism also meant more freedom. And it was fun to see how the two started to merge together. When I left my nine to five job, probably about five, six years ago, something like that, I felt really confident that I was gonna have plenty of financial abundance to do what I wanted. And people often ask me about that, like, Brittany, how, how did you feel confident making that leap? How did you know that you're gonna be all set? And one of the reasons is that I was already living a really minimalist lifestyle. So I didn't have a ton of stuff. I didn't have a ton of expenses. I'd already started my journey of cutting out things that felt like they really weren't serving me in my life or adding value to my life. And really, I was just like, so pumped to start living out of a backpack and traveling full time. That's what I really wanted. So when you live that way, or at least for me living that way, really didn't cost that much money. Another reason I had this confidence is because I was tracking my budget. I'm a total Excel spreadsheet geek and love tracking my finances. Started doing that back when I was probably about 16. And so having this data helped me have a better look at what I was really investing in and got to ask myself these questions as I was minimizing other things in my life, getting rid of physical items. I was looking at also like, where am I investing this wealth, this abundance, this energy, you know, money felt like energy for me. Where am I investing it? And is it adding value to my life? Does it make sense to invest here? I didn't feel like I was gaining value from a lot of the things that cost money in my life at that time. Mostly what I wanted back then was to start living out of a backpack as soon as possible and traveling the world. And I had a lot of experience doing that. I had spent different periods of time traveling around Central America, which is where I wanted to go at the time. And I knew that I could easily live off of $500 a month and up to say a $1,000 a month. And that I wasn't scraping by. That just happened to be what it cost me to live a happy life. Back then I really liked staying in hostels and tents, dorm rooms, and living in community because that's what I was looking for. I was looking for more connection, more adventure, learning about people from around the world, speaking different languages. And I still love that stuff. And I've also noticed that sometimes now I want to opt for a private accommodation or instead of taking that bus that, you know, is super cheap and will get you there with a huge stomach ache, like I'd fly or whatever. And so even with making those upgrades to suit my preferences, I found that my life is still super affordable. And again, it's not that I want to live frugally or feel like I need to scrape by it just happens to be that I have simple preferences because I find joy in the experiences of my life when I look at the things I love doing most of them are free I love having deep connections with people I love playing and moving my body getting upside down I love fresh air nature, sunshine, really delicious fruit. I love making videos and connecting with all of you. Having this awareness and self-understanding, knowledge about the type of life I wanted to live, 
and really knowing that doing it this way felt awesome for me. I felt healthy. I felt fulfilled. With this knowledge, I had so much confidence to leave my more traditional lifestyle without fear that I was going to be needing something that I had left behind. Being minimalist, I save money because it's all about living intentionally for me. And so I'm always asking myself when I'm considering maybe purchasing something or welcoming in a new situation or an item into my life, I'm always asking, does this add value to my life? Do I feel like this is really worth it? Is it worth the energy that it might take to care for this thing or to care for this relationship? Or do I feel like it's going to be weighing on me or adding more stress than it's going to be adding benefits to my life? Or the biggest one for me is like, does this feel like a hell yes? If there's no questioning in my mind, if I'm like, hell yes, I really want to do that thing. I really want to invest in that or I really want that item that's really going to add value to my life and enhance my experience, I'm all for it. Because I love investing in things. I love spending money on things and experiences and people and situations that rock my world. And also, most of the time, I've found that that stuff is free. I think for me, minimalism has been pretty synonymous with like getting, cutting the junk out of my life that doesn't serve me and finding more intention and purpose in my life. And that's just like simple living at its best. It, it's not expensive. It's, yeah, it's sublimely simple. It's, it's kind of magical really. And it really makes sense because we're pretty much provided for here on this beautiful earth that we live on. I feel like I get to live the most luxurious life living out of my small backpack, my RV, Airbnbs I'm at, or apartments I'm renting. It's just totally what I want to be doing. I want to be moving my body in the ways I am and playing, connecting with the people I get to, having creative business endeavors and playing there. I feel like we all can. I mean, this is my vision and I really believe it to be true and have found it to be so fulfilling that when I tap into what I love, I create with the most amazing energy and that all comes back. And there's so much abundance there, I think for all of us. And so not only do I feel like minimalism can lead to saving money, most definitely a simpler life, but I also feel like it can bring about so much more wealth and abundance and financial abundance in your life, in our lives. I hope you enjoyed hearing about this, a little bit about my experience and these two really interesting topics. If you want to check out more about them, I have videos about how I left my nine to five, how I achieved financial freedom, all that stuff. And there's playlists in the description box below. I also have this awesome program, Simplify, which will take you through basically all the same things that I did to change my life and start living the life of my dreams. And I highly recommend it if you're interested in changing your life. Thank you so much for watching. So much love to you. Mwah. Bye.